ഹിസ്റ്ററി ക്ലബ് സ്റ്റുഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം പ്ലസ് ടു ചരിത്രം ഒന്നാമത്തെ തീമിൻ്റെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് നോട്ട്സ് നമുക്ക് പരിശോധിക്കാം ഇതിൻ്റെ മലയാളം വീഡിയോയുടെ ലിങ്ക് ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ബോക്സിൽ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് മലയാളത്തിൽ പരീക്ഷ എഴുതുന്ന വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾക്ക് അത് സഹായകരമായിരിക്കും നമുക്ക് നോട്ട്സ് പരിശോധിക്കാം ബ്രിക്സ് ബീഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ബോൺസ് ദ ഹെറപ്പൻ സിവിലൈസേഷൻ ദ ഹെറപ്പൻ സിവിലൈസേഷൻ റെപ്രസെൻസ് ഏർലി കൾച്ചർ ഓഫ് ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ സബ് കോണ്ടിനെൻറ്റ് It is called Harappan culture because this civilization discovered first in 1921 from modern site of Harappa. Extent The Harappan culture covered part of Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Sindh, Balujistan. It extended from Jammu in the north, Narmada in south. Makran coast of Balujistan in the west to Meerut in the northeast. Important sites Nearly a thousand Harappan sites have been discovered. Some of them belongs developed phase. Some sites can be regarded as cities. Harappa on the banks of river ravi in the montgomery district of west punjab in pakistan mohanjodharo situated in the larkana district of sindh in pakistan chanhudharo 130 km south of mohanjodharo in sindh in pakistan lothal in gujarat കളിബങ്കൻ ഇൻ രാജസ്ഥാൻ ബനവാലി ഇൻ ഹരിയാന അതർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് സൈറ്റ്സ് രാഖി ഗർഹി ദോളവീര റൂപ്പർ സുദ്ഗ ജൻഡോർ ആംറി ബലാക്കോട്ട് കോദ്ദിച്ച് രംഗപ്പൂർ നാഗേശ്വർ Archaeologist who conducted excavation Alexander Cunningham Dairam Sahini He conducted full-scale excavation at Harappa in 1921 John Marshall, Director General of ASI R.D. Banarji conducted excavation at Mohanjadaro in 1922 Mortimer Wheeler, he conducted major excavation at Harappa. Beginning The civilization dated between 2600 BC and 1900 BC. We can divide it into three. Early phase, mature phase, later phase. There are several archaeological culture in the region prior to the mature Harappa. Early Harappa Distinctive pottery, agriculture and parcelism, small settlement, no lar- large buildings. Mature Harappa Urban centers, seals and beads, long distance trade, unified weights and meshes. Late Harappa Cities had been abandoned disappeared unified types of weights seals beads writing long distance trade subsistence strategies Harappan ate wide range of plant and animal products wheat barley lentil chickpea sesam millet etc cattle sheep goat buffalo pig were domesticated agricultural technology agriculture was their main occupation Ox, oxen were used for plowing bulls were represented on seals and terracotta sculpture 
Terracotta models of plow have been found at the site Kolistan and at Banavali. Found evidence of plowed field at Kalibangan in Rajasthan. Trace of canals have been found at Shotugai in Afghanistan. Water reservoirs found at Dolavira in Gujarat. Mohanjadaro, a planned urban center. The most unique feature of the Harappan civilization was the development of urban cities. Mohanjadaro is the best example of their town planning. The entire city was divided into two parts. First one, citadel, smaller but higher. Second, lower town, lower but larger. Citadel, citadel means raised artificial platform built with mud bricks. It contain many building structures. In Harappa, and Mohanjadaro citadel protected with a brick wall. The warehouse or granary. The largest building structure is granary situated on the citadel mound. The granary built with bricks. It may be used for preserving food grains. The great bath. The Great Bath was most important public place of Mohanjadaro, situated on the citadel mount. Great Bath was a large rectangular tank in a courtyard surrounded by corridor on all four sides. There were steps on the north and south leading to the bottom. It was built with burnt bricks. There were rooms on three sides, in one of which was a large well, which could be emptied by a drain. Scholars suggested that it was meant for some kind of a special ritual bath. Lower Town Below the citadel lay a lower town. It was a well-planned residential area. It contained brick houses. The lower town also walled. All city was planned according to a grid system or chessboard system. Main street running north to south and cross street cut in right angle. Thus, entire city was divided into many blocks. Domestic architecture Many houses were centered on a courtyard with rooms on all sides. Courtyard was center of all activities such as cooking and weaving. There was no windows in ground level. The main entrance does not give a direct view of the interior or the courtyard. Every house had its own bathrooms paved with bricks. With the drains connected through the well to the street drain. Some houses have remains of staircases to reach a second story or the roof. Many houses had wells. The drainage system. Harappan cities had excellent drainage system. There was a common drainage system for all the city. Wastewater flow from houses to street which had drain. These drains were covered with bricks and stone slabs. They given importance to health and hygiene. The existence of strong centralized administration. Their engineering skill. Tracking social differences. Archaeologists generally use certain strategies to find out social and economic differences amongst people living within a particular culture. This includes studying burials, 
looking for luxuries. Studying burials. A burials in Harappan site. At burials in Harappan site, the dead were generally laid in pits. Sometimes burial pits was made hollowed out spaces were lined with bricks. Some graves contain pottery and ornaments. Perhaps they believed life after death. Jewelry has been found in burials of both men and women. In some instances, dead were buried with copper mirrors. The Harappans did not believe in buying precious, burying precious things with the dead. Looking for luxuries. Another strategy to identify social differences is to study artifacts. Artifacts broadly divided into two, utilitarian and luxuries. Utilitarian include objects of daily use made easily out of ordinary materials such as stone or clay. This includes currents, pottery, needles, flesh rubbers, etc. Luxuries. Luxuries are rare or made from costly, non-local material or with complicated technologies. Different types of dwelling. The remains of different types of houses indicate that the social differences were existed in Harappan society. Big houses mean for the rich, while small houses were used by the poor section of the society. Seals, script, weights. Seals. Seals are greatest artistic creation of the Harappan people. Thousands of seals have been found. Carry short inscription with pictures. Seals were made of steatite, squarish in shape. Some of the seals are rectangular, circular. This may be used for trade transaction. Purpose was to mark the ownership. Importance of the seals. Greatest artistic creation. Main source of Harappan script. Animals, birds, religious beliefs, etc. Long distance trade. An enigmatic script. Harappans invented art of writing. It has not been deciphered so far. Most of the inscriptions are recorded on seals and contain few words. Script is not alphabetic but pictographic. Most of the inscriptions are short, the longest containing about 26 signs. It contains somewhere between 375 and 400 signs. Script was written from right to left. Variety of objects on which writing has been found. Seals, copper tools, rings of jars, copper and terracotta tablet, jewelry, bone rods, even an ancient signboard. Harappan weights. Harappans developed a system of weights. Exchanges were regularly regulated by precise system of weights. Weights were usually made of stone called chert. Cubicle in shape with no mark marking. Lower denomination of weights were binary. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. While the higher denomination followed the decimal system. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc.
Smaller weights were probably used for weighing jewelry and beads. Metal scale pan have also been found. Finding out about craft production. Chanhudaro was the main center of craft production. Bead making, shell cutting, metal working, seal making and weight making. The variety of materials used for making craft production. Stone, metal, shell and clay or terracotta or burnt clay. Stones, carnelian, jasper, crystal quartz and steatite. Metal, copper, bronze and gold. Some beads were made of two or more stones cementing together some stones with gold caps. The shape were numerous disc, cylindrical, spher spherical, barrel. Technique for making beads. Steatite, very soft stone. Very easy to work, some beads were molded out of a paste and made with steatite powder. It is easy to make different shapes. Carnelian Carnelian, red color of carnelians obtained by firing, the yellowish raw materials. Stra stages of production Stages of production Grinding, polishing and drilling. Specialized drill have been found at Chanhu Daru, Lothal, Dolavira. Shell objects, Nageswar and Balakot. Both the settlements are near the coast. These were the specialist centers for making shell objects, bungles, ladles and Inlay. Finished objects were taken to the large urban centers such as Mohanjadaro and Harappa. Identifying centers of production. In order to identifying centers of craft production, archaeologists usually look for following raw materials, stone nodules. Shells, copper, or etc. Tools, unfinished objects, rejects, and waste. Material waste is one of the indications of craft works. For in instance, if shell or stone is cut to make objects, then pieces of these materials will be discarded as waste at the place of production. Strategies for procuring materials A variety of materials used for craft, while some such as clay were locally available. Many such as stone, timber and metal to be procured from outside. Transportation, bullock carts, river route, coastal route, Terracotta toy models of bullock cars have been discovered. Picture of ship depicting on seal. Materials from the subcontinent and beyond. The Harappan procured materials for craft production in various ways. Establishment of settlements. They established settlements such as Nageswar and Balakot where shell was available. Shotogai, the best source of lapis lazuli. Lothal, near source of carnelian. Steatite, from Rajasthan and North Gujarat. And metal from Rajasthan. Sending expedition, Gethri region of Rajasthan, South India for gold. Contact with the distant land. Harappan procured raw materials for craft production by long distance trade. 
റീസെൻ്റലി ആർക്കിയോളിസ്റ്റ് ഫൈൻഡ് സജസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് കോപ്പർ വാസ് പ്രോബബ്ലി ബ്രോട്ട് ഫ്രം ഒമാൻ കെമിക്കൽ അനാലിസിസ് ഹൗ ബീൻ ഹൗ ഷോൺ ദാറ്റ് ബോത്ത് ദ ഒമാനി കോപ്പർ ആൻഡ് ഹെരപ്പൻ ആർട്ടഫാക്ട്സ് ഹൗ ട്രേസ് ഓഫ് നിക്കൽ ഇറ്റ് സജസ്റ്റിംഗ് കോമൺ ഒറിജിൻ മെസോപ്പോട്ടോമിയൻ കോപ്പർ ആർട്ടഫാക്ട്സ് ഓൾസോ കണ്ടെ നിക്കൽ എ ലാർജ് ഹെരപ്പൻ ജാർ ഹാസ് ബീൻ ഫൗണ്ട് അറ്റ് ഒമാൻ സൈഡ് മെസോപ്പോട്ടോമിയൻ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് റെഫർ ടു കോപ്പർ കമ്മിങ് ഫ്രം എ റീജൻ കോൾഡ് മകാൻ perhaps the name for oman harappan seals weights dyes and beads have been discovered from mesopotamian sites this is the strong indication of trade relation between harappa and mesopotamia mesopotamian text mention contact with the regions named dilmun probably bahrain meluha possibly the harappan site they mention the product from meluha carnelian lapis lazuli copper gold and the varieties of wood mesopotamia records refer to meluha as a land of seafarers besides we find depiction of ships and boats on seals ancient authority There are indications of complex decisions being taken and implemented in Harappan society. The extraordinary uniformity in Harappan artifacts, pottery, seals, weights and bricks. Settlements were strategically set up in specific locations. Labor was mobilized for making bricks. for construction of massive walls and platforms who organized these activities palaces and kings different opinions harappan society had no rulers there was no single ruler each city had separate ruler a large building found at mohenjo-daro was labeled as a palace A stone statue was labeled as a priest king. There was a single state. Similarity in artifacts. The evidence of planned settlements. The standardized ratio of brick size. Establishment of settlement near source of raw materials. All are evidence of strong centralized authority. The end of the civilization. 1800 BC major harappan sites had been abandoned expansion of population into new settlements in gujarat haryana and western uttar pradesh disappearance of unified types of weights seals beads writing long distance trade artifacts and settlements indicate a rural way of life it is called late harappa causes for the decline climatic change deforestation floods shifting as rivers drying up of rivers iron invasion kannihams confusion He was the first director general of archaeological survey of India. He is considered as father of Indian archaeology. Cunningham's main interest was in the archaeology of the early historic from 6th century BC to 4th century BC. In order to locate the early settlement, he used the account of the Chinese Buddhist pilgrims. who had visited India between the 4th and the 7th century. Defects of his study Harappan city, not a part of ancient cities mentioned by Chinese pilgrims. He failed to identify the date of Harappan culture. He thought that Indian history began with the first cities in the Ganga Valley. He missed the significance of Harappa. a new old civilization 
ദേറം സാഹിനി കണ്ടക്ടഡ് എസ്കവേഷൻ സൈറ്റ് ഹരപ്പ സീൽസ് വെയർ ഡിസ്കവേഡ് ആർ ഡി ബനർജി കണ്ടക്ടഡ് എസ്കവേഷൻസ് അറ്റ് മോഹൻജോദാരോ ഹി ഫൗണ്ട് സിമിലർ സീൽസ് ഇറ്റ് മോഹൻജോദാരോ ദീസ് ഫൈൻഡിങ്സ് ലീഡ്സ് ടു ദ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ദി സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് വെയർ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് സിംഗിൾ ആർക്കിയോളജിക്കൽ കൾച്ചർ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദീസ് ഫൈൻഡിങ്സ് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫോർ ജോൺ മാർഷൽ ഡയറക്ടർ ജനറൽ ഓഫ് ദ എ എസ് ഐ അനൗൺസ്ഡ് ഡിസ്കവറി ഓഫ് ന്യൂ സിവിലൈസേഷൻ ഇൻഡസ് വാലി സിവിലൈസേഷൻ ജോൺ മാർഷൽ മാർക്ക്ഡ് എ മേജർ ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ആർക്കിയോളജി ഹി വാസ് എ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രൊഫഷണൽ ആർക്കിയോളജിസ്റ്റ് മാർഷൽ ഫോളോവഡ് ഹൊറിസോണ്ടൽ എസ്കിവേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇഗ്നറിംഗ് ദ സ്ട്രാറ്റിഗ്രാഫി ഓഫ് ദ സൈറ്റ് new techniques and questions in 1944 an re m wheeler took the charge of asi he followed the stratigraphy of the mount rather than horizontal problem of piecing together the past Harappan script is not helpful to understanding Harappan culture because it not deciphered till the date material remains help the archaeologist to reconstruct Harappan life pottery tools ornaments household objects seals bricks stones etc classifying finds recovering artifacts classify the finds there are two types of principles in the classification first one classification in terms of material such as stones clay metal bones ivory etc second classification in terms of function it is more complicated archaeologists have to be decide whether an artifact is a tool or an ornament or both or something mean, means for ritual use shape of the objects often shaped by its resemblance with present day things for example beads kern and pots are examples context by investigating the context in which it was found in house in rain in a grave etc indirect evidence for example depictions in sculpture revealed the use of cotton and their dress style problem of inter- interpretation the problem of archaeological interpretation are most evident in attempts to reconstruct religious practices every archaeologist thought that certain objects which seemed unusual or unfamiliar may have had religious significance objects and interpretations mother goddess terracotta women heavily jeweled some with elaborate headdress priest king rare stone statue of men great bath may have been used for ritual bath fire altars kalibangan lothal may have been used for religious practices some of the seals C2 depict ritual scenes plant motifs plant motifs indicate nature worship animal depicted on seal one horn one horn animal or unicorn proto shiva a figure shown seated cross legged in a yogic posture surrounded by animals has been regarded as a depiction of proto shiva
ഈ വീഡിയോ നിങ്ങളുടെ പഠന പ്രവർത്തനത്തിന് സഹായകരമാകും എന്ന് കരുതുന്നു മറ്റ് വീഡിയോകളുടെ ലിങ്കുകളും ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ബോക്സിൽ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ കാണുക നന്നായി പഠിക്കുക മറ്റൊരു വീഡിയോയിൽ വീണ്ടും നമുക്ക് കാണ